<laughs> oh, we're live. Hello. We're live. My name is Gabe Hernandez, and this guy right here is... Hey, Matt. How you guys doing? And this is episode two of a show about something. We have another something coming up, but we're going to start the show with a pretty awesome tutorial. We're going to show you guys some value about some new stuff that we've got brewing. You want to show them what, you, what do you have over there? Yeah, so many of you were on the Facebook Live the other night. I did a late night from the house, and we made this awesome design right here out of the Dog Pack Volume 1. Did something a little bit different with this one and used a couple, it was actually four different presses and that's still on Facebook. You guys can go on Facebook and watch the recording of it. Used some black Easy Weed, we used some gold Easy Weed. For the actual Husky here, I used a white strip flock to give it kind of a fur feel and a 3D effect. And then we used the cool teal to give it some blue eyes right there. So really cool, something different, but something really unique as well that will kind of wow your customers and, and give something different that's out there that's not the same as every basic screen print or heat transfer vinyl shirt. So that was this, the Dog Pack Volume 1. But today, and we're, we're hoping we're going to be able to see the questions here. I'm not sure if, um, if you guys can see us, hear us. Can you just comment real quick here on YouTube and let us know? I see Latasha said hello a little while ago, but I'm not sure if we're frozen or good to go here. So just drop us a line. Let's see if you're here. You guys here? You guys, I can see a lot of people are in here, just not seeing comments come through. Whoa. Latasha can still see us. Oh, there we oh, go. There oh, we go. Oh, I see Kelly. Right. Hey, right. everybody. Hey, Joseph. How you doing? Hey, Susan. Lisbon, Ohio. What's up, Susan? Okay. We got Perfect. a good amount. So it looks like a little bit of a delay, but that's same as uh, Facebook. Switzerland. So you're going to see Gabe and I looking over here every once in a while. That's where all of your questions are coming through. So if we're not looking at you, we're trying to see your question to help you out. But We value you. It's not that we're avoiding eye contact or trying to hide something. We are going to do um, a couple quick little things. So this dog pack has been so popular. We've already started working on the dog pack volume two. And then I showed a few of these in a live the other night. Let me see if I can get them up to the camera so you can see them here. So all of these dogs right here where you can have them kind of peeking out the back window of a car or a computer laptop or a shirt. And I showed these the other day and the plan was to get these into dog pack volume two. But we have a lot to do for this dog pack. So instead of waiting a month, two months, until we finish all of the designs, what we decide is we're going to release some mini packs. So we're going to do this mini pack here today. But first thing I want to do is show you how to do a decal, how to press on the shirt, do something a little bit different with it. And then Gabe's got a pretty cool idea of something Something unique and different that we're going to press as well. Yes, yeah. I've realized after my humiliating defeat against Matt Vassallo in the weeding competition that maybe I can't offer the same kind of value that he can, but I could offer something different, something perhaps a little unique. And that's what we're going to do towards the end of the show. So we have something special for you guys. We're going to try something a little bit different and uh, make sure that I can teach you something that I'm good at, which is uh, making a mess. But so do you want to show them a little bit about... You gonna you want to walk them through the? Tutorial? I do. Yeah. Let's go over. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna come over here. And I'm gonna show you using a computer laptop first. Okay. Obviously, I'm not gonna press the laptop. This is our sign vinyl here. So you can see with this lab design. Now these are just clip arts. Okay. So this pack is obviously gonna be a lot less expensive, and and you're gonna get a big coupon code here today. We have it listed on the website now. But I actually used our brown glitter FDC sign vinyl, black FDC sign vinyl, and then the red, and then the white is actually knocked through, so it's going to be the computer laptop showing through. And then I have the little chihuahua doing the same thing. So what I'm going to do is most people will tell you that you don't want to do, obviously, a wet application on a computer. So I'm going to show you a couple different tricks and techniques for doing this to where you don't ruin your laptop, obviously. So I layered this and I did it, and we're gonna create a video for this as well as far as doing the um, registration marks because that's what was done with the TRW Design Wizard. So I'm just gonna make sure decals on there are good. I'm gonna peel this off. And now my decal is ready to go. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to spray the back of this area a little bit, okay? So I didn't spray it a ton, but just enough, as you can see, to be able to move it around a little bit, just in case I didn't get it lined up perfectly right away. So I'm going to put this lab right here, and I actually want his paws to kind of wrap around a little bit. So you can see, many of you that have worked with sign vinyl before, I've already touched it to this laptop and it would have been stuck and I would have never been able to move it had I not done this wet application. So that's the main reason why I'm doing a wet application on that is because I can kind of move it around a little bit. Once I feel like it's pretty good, which I think that looks pretty good there, now I'm just gonna grab my squeegee here. I'm gonna squeegee this out and I'm gonna pull it from the top here using my clear application tape and now remember, because I did the wet application, you do need to be careful when you're peeling it right off the start because it'll try to lift up a little bit. But again, that little bit of moisture that we had back behind it will dry out quickly. And then his paws right here, I'm just going to use my thumbs, wrap that around, and look at that. You can dry it with the shirt that you have on. So there we go. That is done. And look at how cool... now. What the real big benefit of a wet application is, is I can see a little bubble there. So I can go like this, or I can use my actual, um, my squeegee, or I can just use your thumb and just kind of rub that bubble out. And now it's not going to have that bubble in anymore. So it releases from behind it. But check out how awesome that lab right there looks. And this is not done with a full color print and cut or anything. This is just your regular sign vinyl. So same thing with the Chihuahua here, and I'll do this one without the wet application just to show you it can be done that way as well. So I'm going to pull this off here, and I wanted to do the Chihuahua a little bit different, a little bit unique. I'm going to do it upside down at the top here just to look cool. So so did you do a full layer on these? Is it a, you got a full base foundation layer? Yes. So what I did, the black area that you're seeing is a full layer other than the eyeball and the little part of the nose because I didn't want to have to use another color gray or white right there so that's actually the laptop showing through in that area so it saved me another cut another weed another layer so now I can pull this off here and we're good to go so now when this laptop is lifted up we got our chihuahua right there hanging upside down and we have our chocolate lab right there obviously a couple of our dogs so there is the vinyl cardi cow version of it there now to do something a little bit different i'm going to do a shirt now this is just a basic shirt so let's just imagine that you have a shirt design for a kennel or for a um a rescue or for whatever it is and you want to add a, something a little bit different make it a unique shirt and with some cool placement so let's say you have a logo for whatever it is the southeastern guide dogs or whatever it is and I want to make this unique and a little bit different check out what I can do and this this pack is called our what did we actually label it the dog, dog peak mini pack the dog peak mini pack so the little dogs are peeking over the edge so it's the dog peak mini pack so come down with my quick little pre-press again bottom of the shirt here this one here i have three layers i have black easy weed i have gold glitter and i have red glitter so what i'm gonna do the black first this is my black easy weed i'm gonna drop my black easy weed all the way to the edge right there of the shirt and I want the Chihuahua to go right next to it as well. So I'm going to go here, and that looks good. Remember, quick little pre-press, 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000. Lift that. It almost looks like a sad clown with hands. <laughs> That's what it is right now. Until the magic happens. Quite frightening. Drop my glitter. Layer this right on top. You can see because I just did the quick little pre-press, that's going to layer perfectly for me. Come down now for again, two seconds. And we obviously want to add 
the tongue there. Do you have a cover sheet? There is a cover sheet. Thank you. And I'll get over and we're going to answer some questions here at the end as well. Difficult for me to see the questions right now, but I'm coming down for the full 10 to 12 seconds on this one here. And we can peel off our glitter here. So with the glitter, peel it down there. Everything looks perfect. And we're done with the lab part of our design. Now, this is one thing I wanted to show you in a little tip here. I don't want to keep pressing this yellow lab right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to shift my shirt over so I don't keep repressing that same design. And because what's going to happen is that easy weight is eventually going to start wrinkling up and it's going to get over pressed. So this one's only two presses here for our Chihuahua. I'm going to go here. That looks good. Come down for one 1,000, two 1,000. Up. Oh. What's this one look like? This one looks like an evil demon from Gremlins. <laughs> it looks like Gizmo with only half a face. Drop this right on top. Everything's covered so I don't need a cover sheet. And go for my full 10 seconds here. Once that's good, we can peel this off. And the, the colors that I used right here, I actually used a black Easy Weed, and then I used the gold confetti glitter right there. So you can see how awesome that looks. There's our lab. So I'll come back to our main image here and show you how cool this would look. So just imagine a really nice design on the front right there, and then the back has the little Chihuahua and lab kind of hanging out the back. So again, just something different, something unique that's going to show your customers a few different things and give them different ideas and you being able to provide unique products for your customers as well. So this one right here, these are the different designs that will be in this pack here, okay? And the different breeds that are in this one. So we are actually, for the first 24 hours is when we normally do this. For the first 24 hours, we're going to do 65% off all of these clip arts. So at the 65% off, I think it gets down to like maybe 77 cents per vector graphic. It gets ridiculous, okay? So you're always going to have the biggest savings during that first 24 hours. Yeah, I think something my, like for sure Erica, my wife, is going to want is like a t-shirt with a, the pocket yep. and have the dog kind of like just yep. popping out the side of it. So I had an idea with that as well, like Gabe's saying. What you can do is when you have this, okay, and you have the dog like this, I thought about that with the pocket as well. When you have the full design put together, technically what you can do in the software is you can Split. have and move the paws down a tiny bit if you want and use the split feature in the wizard yep. and then have a little bit of the paws kind of peeking over the actual pocket and then the rest of the dog right behind it. So that, I think that would look really cool. Um, do we have a code right there? Look at that. So we have the code right there and Jonathan posted the link to it as well right here on YouTube for you guys to get that pack at 65% off. Yeah. So I don't know if you guys see the shirt here, but I wanted to make something special for our second episode of show about something. So I, I took the Stranger, theme, Stranger Things theme and kind of themed it out and I have a full tutorial coming out on it. But in order to receive that tutorial on how to you know, take images from the web and kind of manipulate them and, and get what you want out of them, um, like to get that tutorial, you're gonna have to sign up for our show about something mailing list. And in that, you're going to get exclusive content that not everybody's going to get. You're going to get exclusive deals and things like that. And Bino's going to share the link to sign up for that. And probably by Friday, we'll send out the first email for that mailing list. We'll give people time to sign up for it. You just binge watched it. Okay. No spoilers. But that, that freaking show was absolutely phenomenal. I didn't know how they were going to take season two, but I know you haven't seen it. Dude. I'm haven't sorry, seen it. man. I'm sorry. We, yeah, I themed out the whole thumbnail for this too. Matt and I have like the bloody noses like Eleven has and he's just totally oblivious <laughs> to the greatness of Stranger Things. I see a couple questions coming in here. 
Um, will the mini pack be included eventually in a large pack? Suzanne, yes it will. And you guys know, we always let you know those. So these dogs, we're gonna have a lot more that are kind of have like the peak effect as far as kind of peaking. And then we're also going to do a lot of the breeds that we didn't have in our first volume. So, but I'm gonna be honest with you, that's probably a month to two months away because it takes a long time to, for them to hand draw every single one of these different unique dogs. And so, all of you were asking for when I showed these the other night, hey, can I please get access to those now and be able to purchase those now because I'll be able to sell these and I'll be able to sell a bunch of these in the next two months before the packs actually release. So that's what we're going to do is we're going to release in some different kind of mini packs. But then once we have all of those done in, in one to two months, then we'll release dog pack volume two. Okay. And I saw one more question here. Given that Easy Weed presses at a lower temperature than the glitter vinyl, what temperature was I pressing at? So glitter is normally going to be about 320 degrees, Easy Weed about 305 degrees. You have about a 25 degree variance, hotter or colder as far as any materials that you're pressing with the Caesar line. So I was at 310 degrees. I figured I'll just find something kind of right in the middle. And then what you don't want to do is press the Easy Weed at 305 obviously increase the temperature of your heat press to 320 wait 10 minutes for it to get there press that then i'm pressing the next design got to go back to easy we change my temperature again i never change the temperature i just kind of find that medium between it so uh andrea to answer your question the mini pack doesn't come with any live templates but it's something that you could easily easily utilize you can use this as a clip art so when you replace certain pieces of a life template that you already have, maybe one that you got with the dog life templates pack, you can put one of the peaking dogs into that artwork section. Exactly. And that's our goal with all of these live templates. Like even the live templates that you get in the dog pack, you can use clip art from live templates volume three or vice versa. So all of the templates are always different, but any clip art in any pack, whether it's a dog pack, a sports pack, a holiday pack, you can use those clip arts and use them between and mix and match between templates. John Knight had an interesting question. He wants to know where the kitty pack is. The kitty pack will be coming out when, Matt, soon. soon. <laughs> soon. We're going to go with soon on that one. We, yes, John, obviously we've had a lot of requests once we released this dog pack for um, one with cats and horses and pigs and farm animal, am, 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 animals. animals. One that I think would be really cool is like these with the cats and the farm and the nim nim nims. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, those are in the works, John. Kelly, if Soon. you're looking for that design, if you're looking for the pack, it's not going to show up in the search right away. The search is typically the last thing to be updated. But if you go into our uh, shop designs, it's under new designs. And then Bino is also going to continually share that link with you guys. So you can go directly to it. But it will be in the search by the end of the day, for sure. So if you go to shop, designs, and then new designs, is that correct, you know? It should be there. Let me double check. Okay. We're going to get a testy test here. But make sure you use that coupon at 65% off. I think that gets it to about $26 for 34 different vector designs. Like I said, about $0.77 cents a design. Soon. You know it. Nice, Sue. What's up, Maxine? How are you? Yes, and this will... Thank you, Sue. This will actually, it's an EXE file, so all of the clip art files will automatically install into the Rhinestone World folder on your website, on your, on your computer. That way, all of your clip art is located in the same area, okay? Just didn't want to click off the live yet. Wanted to keep watching. Awesome. That's loyal. That's loving. Thank you for staying. Why would you ever want to leave here? Thank you for staying. I would rather you stay here than go purchase something. You can purchase. I'm, I think we're about ready to get into another tutorial, Matt. Yeah? How are you feeling? You I'm feeling, feeling teachy? wonderful. Feeling teachy, Matt? All right, I'm, I want to teach somebody something. You going to teach me? Uh, I don't know. Everything is free in competition to you, so probably not. What's up, Slavo? Bulgaria. So our goal here is to show you the, vers <laughs> what is the goal? <laughs> versatility of your heat press. 
Yes, yeah, so when people are buying heat presses, they ask all of the standard boring questions. Time, temperature, pressure, does it, is it an auto clam? What kind of fabrics can I use in it? But nobody ever asks, it, that would be the suckiest way to start. Nobody ever asks how you handle, how it handles food. So we're here to answer that question so that you don't have to go through it. We're gonna go ahead and test some food. We've got, um, you know, if you could show them our judge, Richard, Richard Miller. Uh, Richard Miller has worked in our call center forever and a day. He's now working with us in marketing, taking over some of the trade show responsibilities with me. And he loves food, I believe, more than anybody I have ever met in my entire life. So what better person to judge how we do? So this is not a competition between you and I. But I promise you, no matter what, Matt's going to take it like a competition. He's going to try and cook something better than me. And Richard's going to be the judge of it. He's going to let us know if what we make him is either great or awful. So, would you like to go first? You want me to go first? You know what? Yeah, because you're a nice guy. Go ahead. Is that what you're going to do? <laughs> <laughs> but Danielle had a great question. So you got all this set up for us and everything looks amazing. Great job. But she was asking about the blank aprons. I asked Matt this morning. <laughs> I'm glad you brought that up. I asked Matt this morning. I said, hey, should I brand these with uh, the logo? for today's episode and maybe give a couple away. And he looks at me, straight face, he looks at me and he goes, why would anybody want that? <laughs> so if you guys honestly want that, I will make sure that happens. If you don't, then we're just gonna keep hanging out. Why with can't we just make aprons. a Gabe apron and a Matt apron? How often do you anticipate us cooking, dude? If this works well, I probably, mean, probably who needs day. a kitchen? That's also true. All right, so I'm gonna jump into it. I'm gonna <laughs> take a leap here. So what I'm going to do, as Gabe's in the background here, working his magic, if you guys want to keep asking questions about anything, or if we just want to sit here and make fun of him, we'll go with that too. Whatever happens, happens. But I'm teach you guys. please feel free to ask questions about anything that we've done, any of the different packs, and um, we're going to let, do we have a time limit on you, Gabe? Here? No, let's do four and a half minutes. Depends on how long it takes to cook. In a way, I'm the guinea pig. So yeah. let's find well, out. That's why you're going first. I'm gonna make an Eggo waffle quesadilla topped with two eggs, some Fiesta cheese, and some sweet tart mini chewies with a little bit of Aunt Jemima sauce <laughs> on the side. Matt, you got a GCC question coming in. Joseph asks, what is the noise level of a GCC Expert 2 compared to a Silhouette Cameo 3? Um, Joe, I would say identical. Both of them are, are pretty loud with the stepper motors. So I would say pretty... <laughs> well, Gabe just lost. You were talking about so that. if you guys haven't seen, Gabe just lost 90% of his egg. <laughs> right there. Uh, the Peking Dogs in the dog pack that was just released. Tanya, no they are not. Um, the Peking Dogs are brand new. They are eventually going to be in Dog Pack Volume 2. And, <laughs> Beating you. and they will eventually be in Dog back Pack Volume 2. But like I said, it's probably about two months away. So that's why we're releasing them as the mini packs as well. Because we would like to um, get you guys the availability to these designs to be able to sell them right now okay and what my goal is is to try and get the mini packs with the coupon code and everything to where it's as close as i can get to where the full pack would be that way kind of as you're buying the two or three mini packs to get them then it's going to be about the same as what the full pack would be as well you're just getting access to them earlier okay i'm just doing my free press <laughs> Getting nice and warm there. Nope. Hello, no. Suzanne, it actually is a Hotronic heat press. This is the first heat press that I ever started with right here. It was called the... Oh, I pulled off all the stickers. Oh, man. Does somebody know? I'm sure Thermal one of you transfer? know. Thermal transfer? No. It was the... Someone have to, someone I, I'm sure one of you might have this. I can't, but it's ten years old and it still works perfect for making grilled cheese. This is a terrible idea. Let's go ahead and we're gonna get our egg on our press 
here falling toward the <laughs> This <edge>. is <laughs> This is aluminum foil on the press. Yes it is. And we're just gonna get it to a point where it's really, really close so we can start cooking our egg. The egg is gonna be the hardest thing you want to cook on your heat press, your hot products at home. How many uh, how many levels of vinyl can you stack before things look weird? Honestly, Joe, as long as you keep going for the two to three seconds and then the final one full, I mean, I've done six, seven layers, no problem. Um, we will, what's going on there, Gabe? The worst. It doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't look like it's cooking too well. This is the epitome of a great idea. Of a fail? <laughs> I'll just stop. You guys see why I'm... No! Why I was very nice and let Gabe go first. <laughs> it's all so that Mac can learn. You, are, you have oil on the top. Just press it down. I'm all, it's going to shoot it out. <laughs> you aren't even going all the way all right. down. You have the wrong pressure. I, I was thinking about I'm not going to help you. Matt, the expert of cooking with heat <laughs> presses over here. Uh, stacking vinyl for decals, Joe, no problem. Um, you can stack, again, five, six layers. Here's the issue with stacking multiple layers and multiple colors of vinyl car decals, regular sign vinyl, is it just takes too long. If you're, I normally limit it at about three colors. <laughs> I did this? forget the oil. I this? did forget the oil. See, see, after the fact, you could just add some oil and just take care of that, and that'll cook quite <laughs> evenly. Right there. right there, it's looking good. It's cooking quite nicely. Susan, there is, you are correct, there will be, um, we're going to come out with another Peaky Mini Pack like that with probably about another 17 breeds, about the same size, and Golden Retriever will be in that one. Yeah, so these are the ones that we've finished so far. The eggs are pouring out the side. <laughs> hey, we're going to, Richard is going to rate the food. You got, <laughs> all of your eggs are gone. Uh, How's this working? Go on. No, don't use my egg. I want one more. One more attempt at... You going over easy? Here we go, baby. <laughs> Guys, we... This is, this is a pivotal moment in human civilization. We made heat presses to make shirts, but now... This is not going to work. But now we're utilizing... You're not even close. In a little this. bit of a different way here. <laughs> This could be the dawn of new ways of cooking, and you get to witness it. So I may seem crazy, but I'm sure Albert Einstein seemed crazy too. Not the same. Not the same. <laughs> Bino <laughs> says it's not the same. It's not Australian the same. Shepherd, yes. Uh, yes. I'm trying to think, was Australian Shepherd on the list? Uh, please put that on the Facebook page under the comments. I think Australian Shepherd was on the list. Yeah, pancake might work. I agree, pancake might work better. I don't know. By the way, you are well past your four and a half minutes. Am I? I don't know. You so been, you have officially been disqualified. You've been talking. You've been talking all, all of your lot. eggs are on the table. I, this egg will get made. So help me. What temperature? Is we are cooking at nine. I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> it has a temperature gauge. Oh, it's better than that. Uh, right we're currently cooking at 370. Three. 70. <laughs> okay, that's looking pretty pretty good there. Just gonna go ahead and add my waffle now. The egg hasn't cooked it all. Oh no, yeah, no. See, you gotta just increase the pressure just a little bit. You only have a this couple is minutes. Going well. Did you just put a plastic knife on the heat press to keep the egg? It's not even cooking the egg, it's not doing anything <laughs> to the plastic knife, I don't think. If I move the knife, my whole egg goes kaput. <coughs> okay, there you go. Now we're getting somewhere. So you guys at least learn something in every video that we do. What you're learning today is to never have Gabe cook for you. I know, I'm a, I'm a great cook. Latasha, these aren't bloopers. This is, a, this is an experiment, right? So we're experimenting to make things... Gabe has cleanup duty. I don't have cleanup duty. Yeah. You want to see who has cleanup duty, I'll show you guys cleanup duty. This guy right here. <laughs> Say hi, Jonathan. Oh, hey. He's gonna make sure that the cleanup duty is all taken care of. Okay. What? You keep is moving the press further and further away, which means is it working? it's not gonna be as hot. It's working fine. This I just feel for Richard. 
But this like Richard well, has to eat this completely raw egg right here. I get salmonella, Gabe. Yeah. Yeah, but you need to train. Richard, you're gonna. What'd you just do? That's right. Richard, That's you're gonna have to clock out before you try this, so you're not on the clock. <laughs> <laughs> and walk off the premises before you try this. We cannot have you getting uh, poisoned here. Um, German short-haired pointer. Teresa, <coughs> email us an image of the German short-haired pointer you're looking for. Because I'm sure if I look on um, Google or something, there's going to be a million different looks. You, I agree. I agree, Beth. That is very smart, Beth. That's what I would have done. Beth said that you need to create a raised lip for your aluminum foil around the outside so it keeps all of your eggs that are on the table and in this. Sounds to me like somebody's been cooking with their heat press. Beth, how do you, really, let me know, I need some tips. Oh, this is going well, see? That's cooking just fine. This was a stupid idea. Whose idea was this? Is, is Gabe done? Is it my turn? No, hold on one second. Let me just get, I have to feed Richard at least half of a waffle. No, you don't. With honey. All right, I'm ready to plate. I don't know what they're going to do. Here. I've got my secret recipe. Just because you throw candy on it isn't going to make it good. What if it does? What are those? Sweet tarts. That's mm. working well. Nice. Everything's... Perfect. My masterpiece, ladies and gentlemen. What do you think? Huh? Rated? Turn that into a game. Rated. So that I'm going to bring this show. over to Richard here. And he will try it and he'll let us know if it came out right. Um, are you going to clean off your mess before I go to work today? There's some of your eggs still in here. I don't know, man. You're probably on your own with the whole egg situation. All right, so Richard, give it a shot. Let us know what you think. <laughs> Did you clock out? My verdict is outstanding. Come on. Don't die. Come on, people. They may not look like a lot. Sushi, sushi, they didn't do a lot. But it's a magic. He said it was outstanding. He's, he's actually, he's still eating it behind the scenes right now, guys. <laughs> okay, you're, you're asking, you're answering questions. Okay, let's, let's see what kind of questions we have on last year in the stuff. How do I cook stuff. on all of your bird? Here, bro, you mean? You got raw egg all over they the place? They do this at five guys all the time. <laughs> Use some pan. Use some pan. What are you? I'm horrified with what's about to take place. Oh, okay, okay. Matt's gonna try something a little odd, a little different. Yeah, a little they household. They all have holes in them, though. They do. They do. I'm gonna be the first to say this is a bad idea. I'm now the expert of bad ideas. They don't have aluminum foil laying all over the place, but they have a cover sheet. So that, if they get hungry while they're working, they just want to use their cover sheet. Did you sheet. just say that cover sheets are more of a household item than aluminum foil? <laughs> yes. Because I don't think that's as accurate as maybe you think it is. Do you have any questions coming in? Yes. How do we get any work done with YouTube clowns entertaining them? I'll make a tutorial on that. Dude, you got to <laughs> Now we got to cook my Apple Watch, man. Gotta get hey. the Pam off of it. Ooh. I wonder if the Pam is good for this cover sheet. We're about to okay, find out. so my thought is a French toast ego waffle. Man, that's smart. I'm gonna help you. You just got yourself a teammate. So this is gonna work right here. Richard is gonna absolutely love this. Hang on. What are you doing? I'm making you the powder. Yeah. I don't know how that's working now. It's working. So, I, oh, 
almost forgot my cover sheet. This is one time you don't want to forget your cover sheet. What are you putting on my... No. When you do French toast, it needs it. It needs that After. powdery. After. You're right. All right. I got I to gotta crush this. Put a hole in the middle of the waffle and put an egg in the middle. Ooh, Teresa's is getting creative here with us. I don't know, Marvin. I agree. How do you get any work done with this clown over here trying to entertain you? I think he gave us a count on that one. Was it one or two clowns? You have a, no, he just said clown. Two clowns. You have a timer set here. You have 69 seconds. <laughs> All right. So, oh, okay. <laughs> hey, hold on. Okay. <laughs> Guys, if there's one thing I've learned... From just two episodes of this, if you have a bad idea, this is a plan. Look, hold on, hold on. Hold on. What I'm doing, I'm firing. Okay. If you have a bad idea, just do it. You'll feel better. You'll laugh. You'll make a mistake here and there. But it is totally worth watching Matt cry over this monstrosity. <laughs> no. I had a, this was all planned. Okay, so this. Look at this. Look at how. I mean, it is bad. Like it's not fresh. It's what do you mean? I, I just bought that today. I started what you Walmart can do online. if if you have Walmart. a thought process like mine, you can take an ego. Someone said earlier, pancakes would have been a great idea. I have such a great idea that I just turned an ego and French toast into a French pancake. Look at that. A frigo pancake. <laughs> a pancake. So a this is going to be amazing, but. Look at that, oh my goodness, this looks amazing. But I'm not even gonna stop there. Where I'm gonna go from here is cheese. If you add cheese, I just turned a Fran cake, a Frago, a Fra Frago Camp pancake, into a cheese omelet. No, I'm not putting your powder on here, but watch this. Watch this, this is gonna be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, this is going to be so good. I'm telling you, you guys are going to try this without a heat press because it's such a great idea. You know this looks good, doesn't it? I'm just mad. Just going, <laughs> off, of, going off of a visual here, <laughs> whose looks better? This looks amazing. I'm going to eat. I'm not even going to let Richard eat this. <laughs> this looks absolutely right. amazing. Look, since I was a guinea pig, you're right. This is the nastiest tortilla <laughs> I have ever laid hands on. I'm going to start prepping my, my invention as well. No, you got your try. Dude, it it's didn't even materialize. It was, it was just liquid the whole time. At which shows will you have the extra classes? Susan, we're going to have the extra classes at all of the ISS shows for the after hours classes. Oh, oh, oh no. Okay, okay, we're good. We're good. Almost went a little too long on the press there. What else is in? Oh my goodness, this looks so good. So. You guys know when you cook an omelet. Uh oh. Guess what I forgot to do? I forgot to put cover sheet on. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I'm, you should use foil. That's such a good idea we should have thought of earlier. Look at that. Like now, you always have to have a little cheese on the top, right? You always have to top it with a little cheese. Thanks, Jody. Top it with a little cheese. Richard, we're splitting mine. Okay. Oh, this is funny. Wait, that's good now? Oh, did you hear that? Uh, yeah. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh my goodness, this looks so good. I need a plate. Hold on. <laughs> so, this is, what are we going to name this guy? <laughs> it's an Ego French Toast style smushed into a pancake with an omelet cheese. You know what we forgot? We need some salsa. Uh, we didn't forget salsa. We brought Aunt Jemima. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's a, it's a French toast pancake. Richard and I are splitting this. Got a knife? Um, I, think, I got one. I think these all have salmonella. Alright. I'm coming over, Richard. with 
Yep. We'll die together. <laughs> My verdict is spectacular. You definitely win. <laughs> wait, wait. Is it not? Next one's coming. Dude, seriously, taste no, this. No, this is great. I'm going to eat it yeah, all. Yeah, you have to taste <laughs> this. I can't. I'm, I'm going to eat all I'm of on it. My, I'm on my diet. You can get off it. This is so good. Is it Bino. really that good? This is really, really, really good. Give Bino, uh, Bino's on a keto cure. You can't eat it? Can't eat it. I feel so sorry for you. What if we did? What if we did, what if we did a giveaway for it? With the next order requires shipping, I'll put this piece in it. That, that's disgusting. <laughs> Probably not sanitary. So, like freeze it and like, send it in there. Holy cow. It has like the, you get that ego taste at yeah. the end of it, but you think that it's a, like a quesadilla, but then. That's your, why is it green? Yeah, you'll, you'll see. <laughs> My verdict is disgusting. <laughs> That's gross, Gabe. <laughs> Are you sure you don't want to try this? I'm down to my last spoiled. bite. I and I am, I am pleasantly eating this. Like, I am enjoying this. I thought without a shadow of a doubt that my idea was, was a good idea. Like, I could not wait to try it so that you guys could try it. But now I know that it was... You said disgusting. Even I'm not going to eat that. <laughs> What is Why it? is it green? Is there, did you put, put syrup in it too? I put my special, my, my, I put my special uh, sweet tart sauce on it. I'm really thinking I'm going to go make another one of mine. <laughs> syrup, syrup doesn't fix it. <laughs> no. It can fix a lot That's of things. That's all you gave. Okay. That's all you. Alright. Well, I hope you guys had a, had a good time with us. Uh, I know we had a good time. Uh, it's very hot. It's very, it's very smelly in this room. <laughs> it smells terrible. But uh, I'm over two. I am over two, Suzanne. I'm gonna have to come come in strong next week. Uh, are you guys enjoying this? If you guys are enjoying the show, uh, we we appreciate you telling everybody, uh, sharing it on your Facebook if you can, liking and commenting on the YouTube videos. Uh, we're gonna keep doing this. We're gonna keep getting random with you guys, providing some good value so that we can provide zero value content at the same time. <laughs> but we have a blast doing this. Don't forget about the 65% off code. Did you we just call frame. my brand new invention of an amazing meal, zero value? What, can you tell us what was in it? What was in it again? It was cheese, it was a, it was a smushed up Eggo waffle. Eggo waffle, <clears throat> French toast style, <laughs> right? Yeah. French toast style, smushed to a pancake. Uh -huh. Rolled over to an omelet with cheese. Yeah. Pressed to a roll to a cheese on top. I'm not gonna lie, your breath is really good right now. <laughs> <laughs> it smells like a French toast. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> so show something too that's gonna get you the 65 percent off, bringing the the cost of each design what down to 77 cents. You I think said? it's down to about 77 cents. So the so mini pack is available now of the dogs, and this is the sample of the shirt that we did right here with glitter with the little lab and the chihuahua and Richard has the computer laptop right there. I was bending uh, down like I needed to, I could stand up the whole The time. decal vinyl. Okay, so again you can get as creative as you want with these things. An amazing thing and what I would do, okay, if still back in the decal world days if I had a pack like this and designs like this, I would go to every different um, like for example, our animal clinic or where our dogs go to get their shots and things and all the different animal hospitals and the shelters and you go and show all of these different breeds for them to put on their storefront windows and windows around their building, they're going to be really popular. Maxine said that I'm trying to get everybody to go to the bathroom all day with my, with my food. That's, that's whether I have a heat press or not. That's very true. I try to make people poop all the time. It's very real. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to sign up for the mailing list. You know, can you share the mailing list with them one more time? Yeah. For all the exclusive content, behind the scenes stuff, some uh, exclusive deals, and then the tutorial on how to make your Stranger Things themed shirt for show about something. There's a lot of great value in there you could take and you could use for all your designing. So, like we said, this one was not a competition at all, but if it were a competition, who would you say won? 
Matt won. I know Richard. <laughs> Matt won. <laughs> Richard, <laughs> <Matt> won. <laughs> Richard won by eating my special recipe. You can see where Gabe's is right here. Yeah, but I had to eat Gabe's. It's, so. mar- yeah, that, that, that <laughs> it's, it's marinating. This will be good in an hour or two. <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in. And until next time, until next week, goodbye. See you guys.